All right, guys, got a emergency service call today. Today's Labor Day. They called and said they lost half the power to their house. This is the main panel here. Uh, it looks like they had a, what I ended up finding, I already troubleshot it. They have a 100 amp breaker that goes and feeds a sub panel for solar. And then out of here, it goes and feeds a 200 amp panel in the garage. And what I ended up finding in here is the 100 amp breaker that feeds the garage panel had a bad connection and burned up so I'm gonna get all this and, and this had a crappy connection here that's loose because I made it loose but we're gonna go through here and get this all cleaned up clean up this busing and get them back up and going so let's get it done also they have these Polaris's that go and feed through for that garage panel so we're gonna get these checked out I'm not a fan of Polaris's but let's see what we can do here built a bunch of stucco when they patched the panel change out. Alright, let's get this off. Get a nice fresh cut on these wires here. Let's take these lugs off. We'll get some emery cloth here and just clean this stuff up. Luckily, the problem showed itself before it was too catastrophic and needed the whole panel change out. Why the solar company just didn't take this 25 amp breaker straight to the main panel and just bypass all this is beyond me. up here on top of this bus thing. I'm actually gonna move the breaker to this side and I'll have to put some breaker blanks in there. Let's get this stripped out. It's still pretty burned up. I'm gonna cut some more here. That's better. Thing needs to be bent back just a little bit. Put that. Get all this stuff landed and then test it out. Get a little bit of dielectric grease here. Put all this stuff. See here, this stuff is seals, protects, and insulates electrical connections, prevents arcing and voltage drop. Thing here. And here's a new 200 amp, I mean, new 100 amp breaker here. Just like that. And then this. Look at that, that wasn't even tight. You literally could just pull that wire right out. Solar guys, strike again. This wire here is a little bit of a piece of copper. I seat it all the way. Alright. Let's get the solar breaker line it back on here, just like that. This wire is tucked in here. This ground landed back here. Loose. All right, just 
once all your connections set for a little bit you just want to go back and just double check them it's had time to compress just like that voila that's it So I don't know if I showed this very well, but here was the breaker that had an issue. So whether someone put in a used breaker or manufacturer defect, I couldn't really tell you at this point, but something was going on here that was causing a loose connection. And I'll have to come back and put breaker blanks in, but I don't have any on me right now. And then I'm just going to sharpie mark this for now until when I come back with these break, breaker blanks in. I'll make some labels for this. I'm going to label this house. Sub panel. Like I said, that's just temporary. Nothing. We'll get that all cleaned up. If you guys watch my videos, you know how to get sharpie off. A little bit of dust. Get it right off. All right, let's check this stuff here. This is the feed that's feeding that little sub panel that we were just working in. Get this off and just check all this. Oh, that looks good. This stuck in here. Yeah, these things are missing the little plugs, so get these things taped up here. I'm going to check all these connections just because everything was so loose. Look at that. Come on, you guys. Loose. He's got, I don't know if we're breeding people with weak wrists nowadays or what. But it's ridiculous. All right. It's all tightened up. Put this dead front back on here. And turn this on that on and then let's go uh, turn off some turn off the breakers on the sub panel so we're not turning this on with a full load I'm just gonna go through and check these connections here spare spare a little loose loose oh, two full turns loose these grounds and nipples real quick check these wire nuts here all right I'm gonna fire this panel up and then we'll slowly start turning things on First, we're going to turn it on and verify power before we turn any other branch breakers on. So, house sub panel, turn that on. I'm going to turn the solar back on. I have the solar AC disconnect turned off still. Close this guy up. Let's go check power. 242, 121, 120. Check the ground. 121, 121. Alright. I'm gonna turn this back off and then we'll put the dead front on. Alright, just turn the dead put the dead front back on here and we'll be done. Besides the burnt breaker, it wasn't horrible. I found quite a bit of loose connections that I went through and tightened everything up. I'm gonna turn this back on and we'll yep. slowly start turning things on and we'll make sure everything's good and then you'll be done. All right, let me turn this on. Oh, yeah. 
You got power again. Your AC just kicked on too. The garage light. All right, so we're good on power. Turn the solar back on. Let's clean up this mess. All right, guys, we're back here. Just wanted to show you, got everything closed up. And let's see here. Closed up and laid there. Like I said, I moved this breaker over because there was a little bit of pitting on the busing on this side. Not bad, but something I don't want to risk. So, garage sub panel. It's fed from here. Solar input. And then I got this panel labeled solar sub panel and the garage sub panel fed from here. And then in the main panel, I labeled this breaker solar sub panel. So, that's it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks. Bye.